Okay, here we go. Two point perspective. I'm just starting by giving myself some reference lines through the middle of the page. And then I'm gonna set my horizon line. And I know this is a tall space, so I'm setting that horizon line a little bit lower. I'm gonna go about halfway down. And that's gonna give me my two vanishing points. And then, uh, and then I wanna to start to determine how I'm gonna build this thing. And I think I'm gonna shift uh, this line, a line over a little bit because I know we're gonna cut through the building. So like if I, you know, if I did the, the cube right there along this line and then we cut, the drawing's gonna end up over here. So I'm just sort of guessing what that is. And I'm gonna to go to the full extent of the page with this. that and then I want to draw what I perceive to be a perfect cube in space so you know obviously here that's too tall that's too long I just want to start to guess where that might be and it might be maybe maybe right around there on that side and maybe over here it's around here One of the things you can do, and we'll do this when we draft, is you can almost double check by drawing these lines right across, right? That gives you a pretty close sense of where that's gonna be. So that's my cube. Um, the space we know is a little bit bigger than a cube, right? It's maybe 20 feet tall, but it's 24 feet long. So I'm gonna just extend this a little bit out. Extend it a little bit out. And then I'm gonna look at the cut plane being about at the midpoint. So in space, that feels like maybe it's about right there. And that's gonna be my cut line. So then I'm gonna take these two points, bring them back to the vanishing point, extend them all the way through the page. Like that. Then I know that I'm over here, right? So I'm gonna extend these lines back to that vanishing point. Like that. So now I've got my inner cut plane, which is gonna be, I can start drawing these actually as cut lines, which I'm gonna do with my uh, pencil lead, the graphite. This is a cut line. Um, and then it's going to come up here. I don't want to draw this just yet. This looks a little bit off. I'm going to adjust that, go over to here. And then I want to give this a little bit of thickness because it's a wall here and there's a wall here. And we know that comes down to about eight feet. So our horizon line is about four feet. That maybe is about eight feet. That doesn't, yeah, okay, I, I got that right, yeah. So I'm coming here, coming here. It's gonna come back to that cut line right there, which is then gonna come back like that. And this actually is gonna extend all the way up and become that tunnel. Like that. I'll give that roof some thickness. And then that comes back to that horizon line. And then I need to do the opening in the ceiling. So I'm trying to sort of guess what the middle of this point is and guess where that opening might be. Like 
that maybe. So now I'm gonna, and then, oh, I have my benches in here too. One more second thing to do here, to here. And now I can draw my cut line. the cut. So now I want to draw the rest of the space. I'll start with the top. I'm going to draw back from this point to the vanishing point. And then I want to come back so the inside of that space is made, is right here, right? So I want to go from this point back to the vanishing point. And that's going to give me the ceiling in there. Then I'll draw the opening in the ceiling, which would be this coming back here, coming back. Then we've got sort of this, and then this maybe comes back to about there. I'm just, uh, again, kind of guessing on that. It might be a little big. And then I want to draw in the tunnel. The tunnel kind of steps back, so we're cutting the middle of it, right? So I'm going to assume that maybe we cut back to about here. So there'll be a, a vertical line. I'm a little off on that, but that's pretty close. And then that is going to have a vanishing, going, again, going back to that vanishing point. And I can draw that in. Uh, then I want to draw in uh, the rest of these benches. So these are going to come back from that vanishing point to these points along the bench. And this gets a little confusing, right? Because these are really close together. But we'll, we're just gonna do our best to depict them. We know that there's gonna be a line here coming down and that it will meet this line. And it's gonna just be a little bit over, right? Because the benches come out in front of it. And then there'll be a line coming up that direction. Then we'll have the bench line that'll come down. Like that. And then we'll maybe there'll be a couple of those score lines here. This comes across, this comes across. And then we have the bench in elevation right here. This comes down. And then this line will go back to that vanishing point there. So I'm going to draw some of that in just so I've got it a little more clear. It looks like I have a little bit of a line that doesn't belong.
right? It's really tight in there, so it's a little confusing, but um, we're just doing my best to show some level of detail in here. Doing a couple of these score lines, just a couple of them. And I'm trying to make sure that, that the top of those bench lines are going back to that vanishing point too. I'm not drawing them all the way back with the blue lead. I'm just taking an educated guess. And the and again, you know, these this is not a very scientific process to getting these uh, perfect, but I'm just trying to uh, do my best to get them as close as they can be. And that's my drawing. So I'm going to hit this outside. which is, this is going back, I'm again not tracing that way back, and this is the outside of the building, right? So this is the inside and the outside, and the thickness creates that difference. And that's the extent of my drawing. So what I wanna do is just hit the uh, outline of the cut with a little bit more thickness. So I'm gonna use that this Sharpie pen to do it. Slow and careful, overrunning the lines just a little bit. And that is it. That is our two-point perspective.